Let's welcome Zach Zane, writer for Men's Health and leading bisexual activist and relationship expert Spirit, who you know from OWN's Love Goals. Spirit, I'll start off with you because you have, again, so many layers to this conversation. You have, of course, um, the conversation of couples and, and the rules of engagement, if you will, for your relationship. Then you have the whole unpacking of the conversation that African-Americans are having about the Gillums and sexuality. What's your take on, on why this was so heated? Well, you know, I think it's important because especially in the black community, we have issues around bisexuality. We have issues around homosexuality, even more so than some of our other communities. And is so that it is true? high time that we realize Spirit, that I'm folks sorry. are having the... Is that, is that accurate? Because I, I guess what I ask that is that, you know, you look at many other major religions, they have sadly some of the same views. I, I, when, when I hear that, I, I sometimes wonder if that's a trope. Is that true that African Americans are somehow more homophobic or anti bisexual than other groups? I mean, we had two white guests on. She said our parents are white and conservative. Is this, that is this is just absolutely something we're just saying true. about? However, yeah. However, as you look at the African-American community, there is still a lot of work for us to do around sexuality. There is still a lot for us to do around understanding alternative types of relationships. We are very traditional in the African-American community, and how we see relationships, unfortunately, Tamron, is typically one man, one woman, engaged in a monogamous lifetime relationship. And what we know is, though, we are still having the same behaviors as everybody else. It is simply the standards that we talk about and we hold out front of us. And unfortunately, <sighs> until we bring those two things together, we're going to continue to struggle in the African-American community in particular around these issues. Zach, I'm going to get to you. I promise to bring you in, but I just want to follow up one more time with Spirit because we say, you know, African-Americans were conservative, but so are Catholics. You know, so are Muslims. I mean, I, I just wonder how much of this is... Same-sex legalization was not held back exclusively by black people. It was Americans. Mm -hmm. It was Americans. Mm -hmm. So we all have some unpacking to do. Should it fall on one We absolutely group? do. Yeah. And as you talk about the two different things being brought together, what we know is 4 to 5% of the American population, Tamron, yeah. the American population, is consensually non-monogamous. Yeah. And that does not discriminate by ethnicity. Yeah. So the same number of black folks, the same number of Asian folks, the same number of white folks and Hispanic folks are engaged in consensual non-monogamy, which is equal wow. to the LGBTQAI plus community. So what we know is that we are all doing the exact same things. It's just culturally how we talk about gotcha. them and how we choose to accept them is the part that is different. Zach, what do you think is a takeaway from this? Um, I think there are two things. The first and foremost is how truly difficult uh, it is for bisexual men to come out uh, mm -hmm. just because of all the discrimination that we face and for all those stereotypes that the, um, early, that the early couples that you spoke to discussed. Um, I also think, also, we've seen the positive feedback. Mm -hmm. And so we see that a change is coming. So hopefully this will encourage more people to come out as bisexual, to realize that they're not alone, to realize that there are other people like them, and to help grow this kind of budding bisexual community yeah. that we're starting to see right now. I think you make a great point about the positive reaction, and Spirit was saying the same. I, from what I saw, there seemed to be more support for him than many people anticipated. Cedric uh, Ratchford, you commented on Facebook. Cedric, thank you. You were in our virtual audience. What were your views on it? Well, originally I went into a Tamron, like most people say, and this is just a politician that got caught with his pants down, so he's forced to make a statement. Mm. But as we made it through the interview, I realized a level of sincerity and commitment to his family, and that changed my thoughts on the whole situation. You know, those layers sometimes keep people from living freely. And if we can break down those layers and continue to have the conversations, like the professional said before, we'll be able to move forward and break down some of those barriers. I think that's exactly it, Zach. I mean, to your point, your expertise on men's health and, and the people you speak with, spirit, the people you speak with on own, women mostly, it is about just, it's spirit, unpacking some of this so we can have adult conversations about love and about life. 
Absolutely. We have to realize that we're more alike than we are different. And unfortunately, because we're not talking and because we don't understand, we tend to think that what is different has to be so much different than who we are. And if it's not like us, then we can't accept it. At the end of the day, Tamron, we're all just trying to do the same thing, be loved for who we are, not in spite of it. And when we open ourselves up to the right people, to the right tribe, we will find the families that we are supposed to be a part of.